Hi everyone, I'm just trying to take a little time here to get my lighting and positioning correct. I guess you might want to see what I'm working with here. <laughs> just bear with me here. Okay, I think we have a better view there. Okay, so let me start. Um, hi, you guys. My name is Katie, and I'm with Katie Lyons Design. And I'm here tonight as part of the Redesign with Prima takeover on the Dixie Bell Chalk Mineral Paint Enthusiast group page. Super excited to be here. I am on the design team with Redesign with Prima as well uh, just became a content creator with Dixie Bell Paint Company. So I'm very honored to be here tonight. Very new to the live scene, so bear with me. My dog may come barking in here. Or you never know when you're live. So, um, hi Malia, thanks for joining me. Hi Brandy. If you guys are here, I would love for you to say hi. Tell me where you're watching from. Um, and what I'm gonna do tonight is demonstrate some of the products from Redesign with Prima. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to apply a transfer as well as a stencil of theirs. So what I wanted to show you is, um, this is what I'm starting with. This is a small black table. It's actually a nesting table. You might have seen some earlier posts. I had the three tables up. Um, this is the middle section. And what I did was I went ahead and painted it with caviar, which is Dixie Belle's black paint. Oh, thank you, Brandy says congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be part of these, both of these amazing groups. So thank you, amazing companies. And I'm gonna move it a little bit closer here. I just wanted to see wanted you to see what the nesting table looks like. So just a small table here. And let's see if I can bring it down a little bit. Oh, Brandy's in the pickup line getting kids from school. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Brandy. Okay, so I think you guys can see pretty well from right here. So again, I used the black paint from Dixie Bell called Caviar. And I am going to show you how I'm just gonna use a small portion. So I cut this out of the transfer itself. So this transfer is from Redesign with Prima and it is the Ruby Rose transfer. So here you can see where I cut my piece out of the sheet. And when you purchase the Ruby Rose transfer or any transfer, um, they come in a tube that looks like this, all rolled up nicely. And this one has three sheets. So the first sheet here that I cut my piece out of, here's the second sheet, and the third sheet. So you can see there's a lot of versatility with the transfers, which is really nice. I like when you can, for some pieces I like to use the full transfer and other pieces I like to kind of cut, cut and paste, so to speak. You can cut them out and place them on different pieces how you would like to. So what I've done is cut this piece out of the Ruby Rose transfer. Hi you guys, hi Chastity, thanks for joining me. Brandy says the transfer is stunning. It is. The colors in this are fabulous. Kind of all over the board, which is really nice. Complementary colors of the kind of cranberry, red, blue, yellow, orange. Really pretty. Um, and what I was looking at as, well, I guess it'll probably show up backwards on your end. But I was looking to apply it kind of like right here. So I just go and kind of lay it out where I'd like it to be. And the other thing that you will receive in your 
I apologize, I don't have the tube for this particular transfer, but this is what they do come in and what they look like. So it's redesigned with Prima Transfer, and in there it will show a picture of the transfer on the back, and included you'll have this um, wooden rubbing stick. Something else I encourage, any um, retailers that are watching this would love for you to post your information um, as well. Um, when we're finished here, I will go ahead and link you to the needed information as well. But Redesign with Prima has different retailers all over the world. Um, it's just some really great products that you can use uh, many different ways, not just on furniture. So it's definitely something you should go check out. So tell me if you can see this all right, you guys. Can you see this okay if I add this transfer right here? Can somebody let me know? I think so. Hi, Leah. Thank you. Just want to make sure you guys can see how you can see it. Okay, good deal. How I'm going to apply it. So what I did is I went ahead, like I explained, and cut this piece out of the main transfer sheet. So I just cut this out of here. Wanted to go ahead and see, or wanted to see what piece I wanted. So I think I'm just gonna put this here because the top piece, or the, so there's three nesting tables, large, medium, small. This is the medium piece. So the top one image will be in the left corner. I want this in the right, and then the left corner again on the small piece. So I am just gonna show you how it's done. When it's a smaller piece like this, it's really easy to I just pull it off completely and just lay it flat on the piece. If you're working with a really large piece, sometimes you have to go um, kind of inch by inch. But for something like this, you just, if you can see here, there's two layers, this clear layer and this white layer. So I just go, make sure not to touch the transfer itself when you're holding the clear la layer because the transfer will stick to your skin and then be on your skin and not on your piece of furniture where you want it. Okay, so you just carefully peel it apart. Don't let it stick to anything because like I said, it will then stick to that. <laughs> I've learned that the hard way. We all do along the way. So then you just go and place it on your piece where you'd like it. And I just kind of smooth it down with my hand first. And then I really just kind of work it with my hand or my thumb. Sometimes just the heat from your hand will work some of the transfer onto the piece itself. But we do also have the nice wooden stick um, or wooden, everyone always jokes on what we call this, um, the wooden rubbing stick, sure. We use that um, to transfer the piece, not the, pe well, the piece of transfer onto the table itself. So what you do is just holding your stick, you just kind of rub, start in one direction, and then you can switch to the other direction. I'll just do a small area here to start. So just kind of back and forth. And another thing I've learned along the way is it really, I live in Minnesota. So the weather is all over the board here, <laughs> literally. So um, I was doing this in my garage one day when it was cooler out and I learned that they really do better in a warm house or a warm shop or wherever you are where it's warm inside to transfer. Um, <clears throat> I just learned that that helped greatly when adhering it to my piece. 
Hi, Kristana. Thanks for being here. Hi to anyone that's jumped on that I missed. I appreciate you watching. And like I said earlier, um, would love to have you say hi and where you're from. Now I just wanna see, I wanna show you guys. Can you see this? Oh yeah, my comments get in the way and then I can't tell if you can see it or not. I think you can. Okay. So if I start to peel it back, you can see that the transfer is now sticking transferring to the table. Karen says, great instructions. Thank you. I really hope this helps you along your way. Is this a special brand for wood transfer? Um, well, these transfers are made by Redesign with Prima and we'll have the, um, the links in the comments here shortly where you can link to those for purchase. I think Thea earlier um, was kind enough to attach hers there, so you can go look for that in the comments here. Becky says, can rubbing too hard affect the finish of the tabletop? I've rubbed really hard before, because like I said, it was really cold in my garage, and I was rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. I was like, this can't be right. Um, it did not affect my finish of the tabletop. The tabletop remained perfect. But you shouldn't have to rub that hard is, is what I was trying to say. Um, I learned that it was too cold in my garage and the next piece I wanted to transfer to furniture, I moved into my bedroom in the house and literally I just had to put my hand on it and go like this and the heat from my hand transferred the piece. So yeah, so no, I have not had a situation where rubbing so hard has done anything to the tabletop. And it should not, because you should not have to rub that hard. So I'm just going to continue here with rubbing the piece. If I miss any questions, I'll be sure to catch them at the end. Thea, thank you. She just attached um, my information in the comments there. So that is there as well if you'd like to look or, and or purchase. Okay, I'm gonna continue on here. See that there? It's always so satisfying when it just pulls back so nicely. Now another really important tip that has been discussed a lot in some of the different forums is making sure that you have, after this is fully attached, after I've pulled it off the plastic, pulled the plastic off and it's transferred to the piece, take your fingers and your hands and your thumb and um, really press down on the piece and because as you lift it up like this, it's kind of lifting as it's grabbing. You need to push it back down. You need to really make sure that it's adhered to the piece. I know a lot of people have had issues. Um, I shouldn't say a lot. Some people have had issues where um, their transfer started peeling and that's simply because you have to push out all those air bubbles and then you will have nothing to worry about. So that's why I continuously go over with my thumb. I'm really just making sure that all the air bubbles are out so I don't have any of those challenges down the road. Or the person who ends up with my piece. I don't want them to have those challenges either. I'm just continuing here to scrape in different directions. trying to see the comments you guys I can't see that far <laughs> but rest assured I will answer any comments and questions after my live here 
I just want you to know I appreciate you and thank you for being here tonight. We've had a lot of fun with this takeover. Pretty much all of it on there now. Just get the end here and we should be good. So they're very easy to use, very user friendly. And they just add that, um, that pow to your piece. I mean, the, the transfers, the color, so incredibly beautiful. I've loved all of the transfers. Okay, let's see if we can pull that off there. There we go. So, this is how it came. Stuck together like this. I pulled off the white layer. Then this layer was on top of here. Rubbed it all in with the wooden transfer stick, different directions, and then peeled that away. So I hope that helps some of you who are interested in trying it and just haven't done that yet. Don't be afraid, it's really, really an amazing product. And as I said, I just really make sure that it is on there. You really wanna make sure that you have all the air bubbles out. Okay, Let's see if I'm missing everything, anything. Hi, so pretty, thank you so much. Hi Dawn from Vermont. Yes, I do seal over the transfer. You do need to seal over the transfer. That um, provides it with its protection. So once you've gotten all the air bubbles out and you're ready to apply the finish, um, you go ahead and apply a water-based polycrylic or a water-based um, poly, yeah, I always say polyurethane, but I, I believe water-based is polycrylic. And I usually do two coats over the top just to keep it safe and protected for, you know, years and years down the line. But yes, you always want to add sealer over the top. Get this out of here. What is the name of the transfer I'm using? I am using the Ruby Rose. It's from the Redesign with Prima's new spring release. So again, it's called Ruby Rose. And if you look back a little bit, you'll see it comes in three large sheets and I've just cut this piece out. Okay. I also wanted to show you guys um, another product from Redesign with Prima. This is the Chalk Paste in Cranberry. And I wanted to show how I do a stencil with this. So it just comes in a container, looks like this, Chalk Paste. Tons of different colors. It's really great. It's, like an, it's really thick, which is nice. With stenciling, it can be really hard if it's really thin and it you know bleeds under your stencil or, or what have you and this just doesn't happen with this so that's what i'm going to be using on the next step here and i'm going to be doing that in this corner up here so maybe i'll you know, bear with me as i just move around here this corner all right i think you can see it there so what I'm going to be doing is using this stencil here. So I've already cut this out. What this is, is it's a stencil that comes on, I didn't bring the roll up here, I'm sorry. It comes on a roll, it's four inches wide, and it's pretty thick, it's like this thick. Um, and you can either use it in long strips, I have this one. <laughs> I've used this previously, which is why I had this already cut out. Um, it's called the Stick and Style Stencil, and this is the Eastern Fountain design. Eastern Fountain. What's so great about it is if you can hear that, it's called the Stick and Style, so it's sticky on the back side. So I've already used this one three or four times, and you just wash it with water afterwards, 
and it maintains its stick, which is incredible. Because, like I said earlier, with stencils, and if they're really, if you're, the product you're working with is really thin, um, you know, sometimes you have a problem with the bleed through. Jackie asked the name of the transfer. I'm not sure if that was the same question or not, or a different person, but it's called Ruby Rose, redesigned with Prima's new spring line, spring transfer line. Wendy says, I love that chalk paste. Yes, this chalk paste is wonderful. So what I'm gonna do is show you this, and I wanna actually have it come cascading down from the top, so it's probably backwards on my, my end compared to yours. I'm sorry about that. But I want the stencil to come cascading down from the top. So I'm gonna line it up. And it sticks, like I said, so it's fabulous. You just, you know, use your pressure, put it down, stick it to your piece. And then you take your chalk paste, which I have right here. And um, you can use any brush, really. Um, I just have from the craft store just a stenciling brush right now that I'm using. So here's the cranberry paste. I'm just gonna dip in there a little bit, and you can see see how it's it's paste. So it's very thick, which is wonderful. And I just like to blot it off a little bit then on a paper towel because I don't want it too heavy to start. So now that I've done that, I really, I just go in and I blot. And you can do this different ways. I like to blot because it, it shows a little bit of texture, but if you want a completely smooth finish, um, Redesign with Prima also has the little, um, someone help me out here, the little the scrapers, I guess. Um, and you just kind of scrape it across the top and that leaves your finish completely smooth. You can also, with a paintbrush, smooth it out as well. Nancy says, if once you put it on, you don't like it, do you have time to wash it off? Are you talking about the transfer? Um, if you're asking about the transfer, no. The transfers do not wash off. Um, they are there. <laughs> so if you're doing a project, you put on a transfer, you don't like it at all, I suppose you can sand it down and start over. Um, so you might just wanna try a little corner um, or a little side piece that you can with the transfer just so you've you know got it down before you apply say a large transfer oh the chalk paste you're wondering if the chalk paste if you can wash it off um, to be honest I haven't tried that myself um, I know you can wipe the chalk paste off of, like say when I rip this up, I just go to the sink and wash the chalk paste right off the stencil itself. Um, but as far as your piece, you may be able to use a baby wipe and wipe it off, but I don't know that for sure. I'm sorry, I haven't had to do that yet and I don't wanna give you incorrect information. I can get back to you though, I'll find out and I will let you know. <laughs> Or maybe one of my teammates. If one of my teammates has the answer to that, you guys, does anyone know if you apply some chalk paste and you don't like it right away, could you wipe it off the piece with something? Maybe one of you can help me with that. That'd be great. So I'm just gonna continue on. And I'm kind of picking and choosing which ones I want. You can you know, go across the whole piece, but I really wanna try like a cascading look so again, I put it on my brush and just blot it off on a paper towel just because I don't want goobers. And I just blot it on. And I suppose if you want like a real defined stencil, like if I don't want to get any in this corner right here, I only want these ones to cascade. Just use a smaller brush and really finely um, add it to that area or even one of the scraper tools, just kind of scrape it over the pieces you'd like. 
Wendy says, I believe you can. So maybe you can. Um, if it's right away, just wipe it off with um, either a damp paper towel or um, I know it, uh, along my journey, the best, the best little um, fixing piece has been baby wipes. They're wonderful. <laughs> And I also kind of want it to be lighter and lighter as I go. So I'm not gonna apply more on my brush here. And I'm just gonna do this one small section here. I don't wanna to take too much of your time tonight, but I hope the information I provided will help you along your way. And like I said, if I missed any questions, if you have any questions, um, please just Attach them anytime and I will get them after the live. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull this up so I can show you. So I am going to go ahead and just peel this off. And as you can see, hopefully you can see that. The stencil is right there in the corner and it's so darn cute. And I love that the cranberry is already there. I've got some <laughs> marks showing there from previous, but I'm not too worried about that. Usually once you put your finish on, those all go away. So I really appreciate you all being here tonight. This has been super fun um, with the takeover and I'll continue on answering questions and we'll make sure you have all the information that's needed. So you guys have a wonderful Tuesday night and I hope to see you soon.